Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Cattle CX here, and I'm with Daniel Drury. As I mentioned in many other videos, you definitely want to check out his YouTube, his Instagram, and his Facebook. I'll put the links down below for all of his social media platforms. And yeah, today we were going to talk about why you may feel bad eating one meal a day. Um, there's a lot of reasons, there's a lot of things that could, you know, a lot of factors that could come into play here. Um, the main thing Danny and I were brainstorming about was just detox symptoms because when you stop eating food um, your your body will have more energy and it will use this energy to kind of clean house yeah and sometimes um, that will cause things to surface you know because it needs to get out somehow through your skin or your breath or your you know your sinuses your what digestive it? tract right like loads of different places right and so it needs to come out so stuff is going to surface up that may not be so fun might not feel so good um yeah and then it's then that's what's called a detoxification symptom you're like i said it's saving all of what is known as nerve energy so extra energy can release the toxins because most people are just piling food on top of other food multiple meals a day right. and then the body cannot do this internal cleansing so by doing fasting you can allow your body to start removing all toxic substances that have built up over the years and a lot of people's bodies don't remove the uh, toxic substances quick enough so then they can start to accumulate in the body and get certain stuck in certain parts of the liver and the digestive tract which can then induce these detoxification symptoms so you really just want to be pushing through that and knowing that it's not a bad thing. It's a good sign that your body is allowing to do what it naturally needs to do to give you the most optimal state of health. So it won't last forever, just keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, and it will pass in the end. Right, and you might experience like a, a cold-like symptom or a flu-like symptom, uh, fatigue, um, you might experience headaches, yeah, anxiety, depression, yeah, excess sweating, bad emotions, breath. emotions oh, in general. Yeah. You, you you may have it's because um, you, you know typically you have an emotion during the day and you just like stuff it, you know, stuff food down your pie hole and then it kind of goes away. Um, but if you're not eating, you're gonna have that emotion. You're gonna have to deal with that emotion. So ex expect that. Really. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people have their foods known as their comfort foods because mm, right. they're trying to suppress those emotions whether they're not aware of them normally it's coming up in their subconscious mind and they're just used to doing that through behavior and yeah instead you need to feel into the emotions love the emotions be with the emotions and allow them to be expressed and move through your body so yeah this can be one of the most intense things for people of any form of detoxification and yeah you also can have things come up I hear this from a lot of people feeling angry and frustrated mm. and when your liver is full of a lot of toxic substances it will start to make you feel those emotions a lot more so when your body starts to naturally detoxify if your liver isn't producing the master antioxidant those glutathione in an abundance of it then your liver is not going to be able to detoxify itself very well and the way that you get the liver to produce it is by uh, giving your body enough selenium and most people are selenium deficient then your liver will produce an abundance of glutes fine but you also can take milk thistle as well it's really good for cleansing the liver so yeah there's many different things that you can do to help get rid of those detoxification symptoms and aid the body in getting them out in the quickest and safest way possible and what I will do is with the milk thistle I will put some links down below for UK US and worldwide suppliers that deliver the most highest quality milk thistle to your door and also I put a link down below for a selenium supplement that comes with all of the cofactors so it works in the most safe and effective way because if you're not taking it with specific cofactors it will affect you in a negative way and yeah do you know of any other different ways people could reduce the detoxification symptoms from your own experience and knowledge as well that maybe you can share with people sometimes it's not so much about um, getting rid of the symptom rather than um, facilitating a process that's going to just yeah. get you through it quicker and things um, things like walking can do that stretching can be really beneficial yeah. um, sunlight will really help um, especially if you're having a lot if you notice um, you're having really waxy kind of skin or you're having acne come up sunlight will really help out with that yeah um, yeah and the sunbathing as well like where right. it can heat up your body and sweat out a lot right. of the toxins from what from what I know uh, most toxins come out through your skin um, and this depends person to person in my experience most most of the um, toxins will come out through my skin and the sunlight really helps 
kind of pull, you know, pull all that crap out. And cleaning yourself can help too, because if you got like a, you know, a centimeter layer of crap on your skin, you need to get that clean, do um, dry brushing, or just take a shower and get your skin clean, and then your your body can get rid of more stuff. Yeah, um, and dry brushing is definitely good because so many people yeah. have so many dead skin cells on, and yeah, the skin is one of the largest detoxification pathways so aiding it in that natural detoxification process with skin brushing which also stimulates the lymphatic system at the same time and the blood circulation which is key for improving detoxification pathways and effects within the body mm. and if you don't know where to buy a skin brush from I've also put some links down below for a high quality natural skin brush as well I used to use them a lot in the past and I highly highly recommend them and some alternatives to the sun, in case you're in a cold country, mm -hmm. is an infrared sauna. It's one of the best ways. It removes a lot more toxins and less water from the body. But if you don't have access to that, then use a standard sauna or a steam room. We do them on a regular basis and we love them. They make us feel amazing. And so many times when I've had detoxication symptoms in the past, I've found that saunas are one of the best ways to remove them. So I highly recommend them from my own personal experience and the information that I've learned on them for using them for detoxification as well. And yeah, what about any other movement based stuff? Is, is there anything that you think would help with that? If you want to go a bit deeper into the, into the detox, sprinting I've found is, is highly uh, conducive to facilitating the detoxification process. Um, I don't really think there's anything more powerful as far as movement goes than sprinting. Um, swimming is great. W like I said, walking is great. Um, back bends can be really nice. Um, other than that, no, not much I can think. Sometimes, sometimes what you need to do is not move. Sometimes you do just need to go lay in a hammock and, yeah, and, and take a nap. I did that today. I was feeling, I went for a run and then I chilled out on the beach and I was like, man, I'm tired. So I just went in the hammock and slept for like an hour and a half. It's not like uh, common that I do that, but my body, you know, sometimes your body craves certain things and you just listen and, and I felt a lot better afterwards. So yes, yeah, so it's working out whether you need to be moving or not. If you're feeling really, really, really bad and so fatigued, then you can't hardly move or mm. then rest a lot and do things right. such as infrared sauna, sunbathing, don't do lots of exercise and right. just allow your body to conserve more energy so it can detoxify itself even more effectively. And something else that's really good for this, a lot of people may or may or not have heard about this or talked about this a lot on my main channel in that is the Wim Hof breathing method. Mm. It increases oxygen levels so much within the whole body, it reduces CO2 levels, it produces a lot of neurotransmitters in the mind and body, it releases an abundance of dorphins, it alkalizes the body, it has a whole host of amazing benefits and most people are shallow breathing and when you're doing shallow breathing you become very high in co2 low in oxygen and it's just not going to make you feel good at all so i highly highly recommend that you do this even on an everyday basis for your health try and do this once every day it's just going to make you feel amazing and really give you an abundance of energy and reduce detoxification symptoms if you're looking to use it for that and if you're someone that doesn't know how to do this i'll put a link down below for a video on my main channel that where i demonstrate this fully and explain it to you as well it's just absolutely amazing and you can do other different types of breath work if you're into other different types of breath work but any type of deep breathing that provides you those types of benefits is really really going to help you a lot another thing that you can do to really help um, diminish the detox symptoms just drink a little bit more water than you're used to um, it will kind of flush it out you know maybe get some stuff out of your colon just get things you know get things more into a flow state if you're feeling uh, really stagnant or stiff the water will, will really help. And distilled water is super good for that, especially. Yeah, yeah, I highly, highly recommend distilled water. And yeah, make sure you're well hydrated. It's gonna help remove all of the toxic waste that your body's trying to remove. And yeah, it can help remove undigested food and food that is in the digestive tract. And increasing the amount of bowel movements you have, it's gonna reduce the dive symptoms. So yeah, that would definitely help you a lot. And the next one is consuming raw, organic, unfiltered, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is very well known for helping people get rid of detoxification symptoms that are induced within them for many different things that they're doing for detoxification to improve their health holistically. So what you wanna do 
is preferably get distilled water or reverse osmosis water, never drink tap water, it's highly toxic, so many toxic substances in there, so bad for your health. And get round eight ounces of your water and mix it in anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I recommend starting off with less and then increasing it over time because yeah, one tablespoon may be too much for you. And yeah, drink that one to three times a day and it can help you get rid of those detoxification symptoms. And this thing will not break you out of a fasted state whatsoever. So you can consume it while you're in a fasted state. So you do not need to be concerned about that at all. So another thing to look at um, if you're feeling not so good one meal a day is look at what you're eating. Um, if you're eating a lot of really dense processed foods, it's just going to take a lot of energy uh, to digest. And so you're not going to have, you know, very much energy. You're not going to feel as good. You're not going to feel as clean and clear as you could be eating more uh, whole foods, plant-based foods. So yeah, just take a look at what you're looking at. And, and if it's not a whole, if it's not based on whole plant-based foods, you know, take that into consideration. Yeah, and eating those types of foods are going to slow your digestion down because a lot of them are in low in water content, they're low in fiber, and they're full of preservatives, chemicals, yeah. like all these neurotoxic substances such as MSG and all of these other chemicals that are really not good for you. So the more refined and packaged processed it is, and especially fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, all these things, are highly, highly toxic. And a lot of the foods are known as type one carcinogens as well, which means they're cancer causing. So yeah, you wanna be eating, as you mentioned, a lot of whole foods that are plant-based as much as possible. Because yeah, the less toxic a food is, the less detoxification symptoms that you're going to have. Because every time you're in a fasting state, it's gonna to have to process the toxic substances that are in the food every day. So if you're consuming ones that are very, very toxic, yeah, it's gonna make you feel really, really bad. And yeah, we don't eat 100% clean all the time, do the best that you can do, but we don't recommend eating refined, packaged, processed food on a regular basis. It's not yeah. going to give you the best state of health and then give you the best hormone production and longevity as well. So just be very, very mindful around your food. And yeah, I, I can totally understand that not everyone wants to eat a plant-based, whole foods, vegan diet. But if you are going to eat animal products, make sure that you're getting ones that are antibiotic free and they're grass fed and yeah, they're really, really clean and all these other different things as well. I'm not one of these type of vegans that just hates on people that don't eat that, mm. well, that eats that type of thing. It's not for me. I don't necessarily agree with eating it, but if you're gonna eat it, just eat the cleanest types of those foods as possible. And they are still whole foods at the end of the day. Right. So yeah. It's if you're drinking milk, make sure it's raw milk. Yeah. It's a world of difference. Yeah, same with honey, like raw honey. Right. And all these other different things as well. Some vegans are probably going to hate on me for the, no. saying that. But yeah, I don't consume it. I'm not saying people go out there and do it. If they're already making the choice, then they can at least make some better, healthy choices with the foods they're eating. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions for either of us, leave them down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about maybe why they're not feeling so good with eating one meal a day. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and from Daniel on my channel. And yeah, like I said, definitely go and check out his social media platforms, especially his YouTube channel. And he offers coaching in case you're interested in that. I do as well, so you can get in contact with either one of us, depending on who you're interested in and feel drawn to. And yeah, expect to receive so many videos on a regular basis on this channel, which will be one meal a day informational ones, one meal a day what I eat in a day videos, what I do in a day videos, calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction of learning about so many things to help you achieve and sustain the body, the desire, the fitness levels, the energy levels, and also many types of videos to inspire you and motivate you to become the best version of yourself and push yourself to your greatness. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the notification button that is the bell button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.